Welcome everybody to the Garden State. EA Sports coverage of the NFL finds us at MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford, New Jersey. This crowd a few minutes ago stirred into action at the sight of their men in blue emerging from the MetLife tunnels. We're set to go as the Giants get ready to match up with Carson Wentz and the Philadelphia Eagles. On first down, Manning. He's got the hook up to Odell Beckham. And he'll be corralled right around the 34. Ten yards there to start the drive and just enough by about the length of the football for a first down. So Manning to Beckham in this defense, they better hone in on that connection. It's almost like an electrical charge for him, isn't it? When he catches the first one, I'm talking about OBJ. He just goes in the huddle and says, more, more, more. And really, he, he's just one of those guys that once he gets going, look out. They go play action here on first down. That's caught by his tight end, Evan Ingram. Give him 30 yards there. Well, partner, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play. They picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Now a play fake here on first down. Pressure comes and down he goes. The Eagles get there for the sack. Chris Long in there to make the sack. He buries him for a loss of 10. I know there'll be a little bit of criticism there because they went right back to the air after the huge pickup and end up getting sacked. That's often a play that you make. You feel like you've got momentum on your side. Unfortunately, the O-line failed to hold up to try to keep that momentum going. Now the rookie first rounder from Penn State, Saquon Barkley. And they go backwards here, losing yardage back at the 48-yard line. Call it a loss of two on the play. And they're going to be staring at a third and long here. They fake the handoff. Now Manning. He'll let it go deep for Beckham. And he's got his man. Beckham. Touchdown, Giants. Oh, now Beckham. 48 yards. And the Giants are going to take a first quarter lead. And partner, they found a gap there on the post pattern, and it was in the middle third of the field. And that's really difficult to do because ordinarily the safeties are back there to prevent that happening. But they found the opening and exploited it. Rosas good with the extra point, and that makes the score 7-0. Rosas now to kick this one away. This will be taken in at the one. And nice work on the return as they'll start their drive just past the 30-yard line. Philadelphia getting sent to take the field. Wentz and the Eagles now with a first and 10 at the 31-yard line. They fake the give. Now Wentz. And down he goes. They bring down Wentz on the sack. Olivier Vernon in there to sack him for a loss of six. And so much for that great field position to start the game. Now they're way behind the sticks. Can't wait to see what their second down call is going to look like now. Work to be done here on second and 16 after the sack. Working from the gun, Wentz. And he's got the veteran here. It's Mike Wallace. And he gets this up to the 34 out of bounds there. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. 
Now, Charles, what's the mindset here offensively? You gave up the touchdown pretty quickly. Would it have changed if you had gotten a stop and it would be 0-0 right now or no? I wouldn't think so. I think in most cases, just down a touchdown, you know, I mean, we're just getting started here. It should be a long way to go. You think to yourself, stick with the game plan, all the things you worked on in practice. But you have some teams that when they get down, their natural tendency is to aggressively strike back. And let's see if they want to get outside of the game plan we expect and try and be aggressive on their first series. So on comes the Eagle kicker, Jake Elliott, on fourth down. Back deep, Khalif Raymond. And he didn't quite have the backspin on that one. It hits at the four and continues into the end zone. It's a touchback. And New York set to take the field. And coming up on their second drive of the game, had the touchdown last time out. Now they have the football back. Chance to really seize early momentum. Feels to me like they had a really excellent week of practice that it all came together. But I'll bet you it got galvanized in the locker room in pregame. Somehow I think the head coach, his oratorical skills were on point. Now Manning to Shepard complete over the middle. And he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. Give him 10 yards there, and about by the nose of the football, he's going to have a first down. Someone sharp in this game. I mean, a touchdown pass on the first drive, and comes right back, and he's flinging it around really right here. A really nice throw there to pick up the first down. You, you kind of just feel a laser focus and confidence about him, and I think we saw that this week, didn't we? Talking to him and the coaches, they felt good about his performance coming up. Yeah, I was real. Eagle pressure too much this time. Down he goes. Chris Long in there to drop him for his second sack now here tonight. Well, they go play fake. The problem is nobody was faked out. <laughs> and when no one's faked out, what's the end result? Sack. Quarterback gets hit. <laughs> Got to imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. Hey, hey, hey. A handoff to Barkley. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. They'll wind up losing three yards here. And they're going to face an uphill battle here on third and long. On play action, now Manning. He finds back and complete. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. A gain of 26 on the third down conversion. Well, that's the kickstarter right there. Eli Manning finding his guy, Odell Beckham Jr. Yeah, it's a deadly combination, isn't it? It really is, but what really makes it work is just how unflappable Eli is with his demeanor, able to maintain his calm and his poise, because we know OBJ, he can run pretty hot and get excited out there. Sometimes just one-handed grabs for him. It doesn't matter what it is. <laughs> just throw it up there. He'll go get it. Tackle made that time by Brandon Graham. Boy, that's a lot of sirloin steak to be taken down for no gain, partner. <laughs> Are you trying to suggest that he is a huge man? He is Not a just big, a big man, big, a huge boy. man. Big, big boy. Well, how about the credit then for the defense to be able to chop that big tree and put him on the ground? I know back when you played, it took four of you to take a guy like that down, right? Well, that's for sure. And you know what, know what else? I didn't want to challenge him at dinner either. <laughs> Call it about a gain of three, and they'll be looking at a third and seven coming up. One thing to keep in mind, partner, especially in the second half, when you've got a running back of this size, of these dimensions, I can just tell you, attrition does set in for a defense because you're excited about hitting him in the first half. Maybe not so much in the second half, and some of these shorter gains turn into bigger runs later. Throwing his Manning on third down. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. It's a 10-yard pickup, and it moves the chains. Had the offense humming on the first drive. Not much has changed here on drive number two. No, and I think a lot of times confidence just really kicks in for a team. They may have been confident going into the game, but once you prove it on a drive, it's hard to get out of that mindset, isn't it? And look, let's face it. We can always lock in on the skill position, guys. Those big fellas up front, they're really making this offense go early in the game. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Tackle made there by Jordan Hicks. 
All right, quick observation, Brandon, because early on in this game, I'm seeing linebackers playing with their noses close to the line of scrimmage. And my guess is the wheels are turning on that other sideline. As a play caller, you're filing that away right now, aren't you? Yeah, you're trying to find that opportunity later on when you can play action them or stick something to them between the second and the third level. On second down, here's Barkley. They'll lose a yard, and it brings up third. Count me as a little bit surprised by what we just saw there because this has been a pretty long drive, and normally you think that wears down a defense. In this case, looked like the offensive line let them down a little bit. Yeah, allowed the penetration and the ability to stuff them for a loss. The Giants on third down. A perfect three for three as they look to keep that streak going. This is third and 11. From the gun, it's Manning. And that is incomplete. Uh, you got a young quarterback, you know, maybe that's just an example of a growing pain for him. I think you're right about that because when the game starts to move fast and it moves quickly on him, a lot of times they fall back on what they know best, their arm. He's, he's slinging it on this one. Had a wide open target, but didn't have the proper footwork to increase his accuracy. The Eagles offense back out onto the field. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? On play action, it's Wentz. And this is Ertz with it, right side. And they'll bring him down at the 27-yard line. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. So much goes into a successful play, doesn't it? How about that play action there? Freezing the defense just enough to spring the tight end free downfield for the completion. Operating from the 27 now. Here's second and three. Now it's the Boise State alum, Jay Ajayi. Looking for a crease, can't find one. Stopped at the line of scrimmage. The safety landed Collins there to make the tackle. Looked like he was trying to bounce it outside, but no success. Yeah, sometimes you got to just figure out where you're going to go, and sometimes you just have to take it to another spot. And trying to get it outside, the defensive pursuit was there and just ran him down. Wentz going to try and throw on third. And the giant rush gets home as down he goes. Olivier Vernon coming in to drop him for a loss of eight, and it'll be fourth down. Great job defensively. I think he was trying to go through his progressions, find someone to get rid of the football. Before he knew it, he was on his back. So that just brings us right back to what you said in the beginning. A great job defensively. Nowhere to go with the football. That led to the sack. <laughs> That'll be a 48-yard punt, one yard on the return. And it'll be giant football first and 10. The Giants offense now, they get ready to head back on the field. They've got the lead. Last time had to punt it, though. What's the key to this drive? I think it's leverage. Ah, the leverage. big guys up front. You know the motivational speech on the sideline is, guys, give us an opportunity. Protect the passer, create space for our runners, and let's go ahead and give these guys. Low man wins. And he's hit and taken down. Eli sacked. Derek Barnett in there to bring him down for a loss of seven. And that is the third sack this offensive line has allowed this first quarter. Yeah, that puts him on pace. Let me do the rudimentary math here. To be sacked 12 times in a game, I know he's not going to go for that. I wonder if it's going to reshape what they decide to do on offense in terms of play calling. Well, I can tell you what, when he popped up, shaking his head, frustrated right now behind center. Open man right side is Ingram. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. They get 16 out of that one, but they'll still need to convert on third. One of the advantages of zone defense, as I remember it, is being able to see the play develop in front of you. One of the disadvantages, when they find those levels where they can hit you with it, sometimes behind the corner and in front of the safety, it makes it tough to defend. They'll try and run it. Here's Stewart. And brought down, but not before he was able to break the tackle, and the extra effort moves the sticks. Five yards is the pickup there as that extends this drive. We all love to have a home run hitter in the backfield. Guy can take it the distance, but in short yardage, trying to pick up first downs, 
That big guy, always a nice luxury to have, isn't he? Now a play fake. Manning. They'll tussle for it, and this is going to be caught. A good pick up there of 20 yards. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Play action, Manning. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Just his second incompletion so far. He's 8 for 10. I think he'll take 80%. There's no doubt that he will, but if you're the defensive play caller, you better circle what you just dialed up on your play sheet and come back to it because you just caused an incompletion. You need a few more of those. From the 34, they'll come to the line on second and 10. Here's a give to Barkley. And not much running room. Down to the 32. Fletcher Cox there for the tackle. Well, he hasn't made much of an impact in the running game thus far. And after that last run, not much is going to change in that area. He hasn't been able to get anything going. And really, the offensive line not helping him much. The Giants on third down. They've been near perfect. Four for five to this point. This is third and seven. Shotgun now for Manning. And this is going to be incomplete. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. Aldrich Rosas now to try the Giants' field goal. This is a 49-yard attempt. Right hash. And it is good. Oh, that one looked to be in trouble the whole way, but it does get over the bar. And the lead moves to 10 zip. So chalk that down as an eight-play drive capped with a field goal. Yeah, as a friend of mine used to say, they were moving and grooving for a while, but they couldn't keep the momentum going enough to get a touchdown out of it. After the field goal, here's Rosas to kick it away. This is fielded at the goal line. And he'll take it back to about the 19-yard line. Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. This is their third drive right now. Maybe not about points, just about getting something. They haven't gotten a first down yet in this game. It's a mental barrier you don't think about until you go a couple of drives without getting a first down. Then all of a sudden it looms big. It gets harder and harder to actually attain that first first down. Here we go, here we go. Now contact up front as penalty markers come in. Who is this against? So they jumped on the left side of that line. And you know when you're at the end spot, you are like in the starting blocks, waiting for the pistol to fire and go. And he jumped a little bit too early. So this helps to start a drive. After the penalty, it'll be first and five. Shotgun now for Wentz. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. Well, while we have a second, wanted to touch on a new program that's making its debut that's got a lot of people excited, Charles. It's the Madden 99 Club. Now, what that is, gives special recognition to those guys with an overall rating of 99. Of course, that's as good as it gets. So through a partnership with our friends at Nike, you're going to see custom, one-of-a-kind, gold 99 Club cleats and gloves reserved for guys like Antonio Brown, Gronk, and Luke Kiefer. And you and I were fortunate enough to get an early sneak peek at them. And I'll tell you, for my money, really cool thing that they're doing sharp sharp look and how cool would it be for those guys to be part of that exclusive club and have something that no one else in the league has that signifies them as 99s that's pretty cool now Wentz on third down Aguilar has 
has it. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. That one goes for 24 yards. He's such a good route runner. Shows it there on third down. Very proficient and a good pass. And you know what I've observed over the years in the NFL? The better a route runner you are, the more confidence your guy's going to have in you to go to you in important times because he can trust you being in the right spot. And they connected there and picked up a first down. Now Wentz. Going to look deep for Jeffrey. It's caught inside the 25. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. That one goes for 36 yards. Now that play will end up on the highlights, and you'll see it all over the place. But what you won't see, the offensive line that bought the extra time that allowed for the big completion downfield, those guys made that play possible. Now they'll run the option to the short side left. And maybe the wrong read there as he's going to go down immediately. It's a loss of four there, bringing up second down. I don't think there's any doubt that if it's me, I'd be really cautious about continuing to call this play because you got to know, defenders, if they get a free shot at the QB, they want to take it, and they want to take it big. And they got it there on the option play for a loss. Now Wentz throwing on second down. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. Seems like this defense, especially the secondary, has really been contesting about every throw in this first half. Remind me of a good half-court defensive basketball team. Every time a pass is thrown, they're right there and gets the good defensive position, able to affect the play. On third and long, it's Wins. And he comes back with one complete. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. It'll be a gain of nine, and that's going to make it fourth down. Instead of throwing it downfield, Charles, they just tried to dump it underneath there. Do you like the call? I do. I think it's a high percentage play because you get the completion, and what you're counting on is your back to use his legs and his elusiveness to make people miss and pick up the first down. In this case, it didn't happen. And Elliott puts this one through, and they get themselves on the board here. It's 10 to 3. So three drives now for this offense, and that field goal gives them their first three points. So if you're an offensive coordinator and you're averaging a point a drive, you're in the wrong line of work, aren't you? <laughs> you got to find a way to yeah. unlock the key to these defenses and put some big points on the board. After the field goal, here's Elliott to kick it away. Here's Khalif Raymond to return. And a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30 to the 33-yard line. The New York set to take the field. And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had the field goal last time, and they're up. But they're looking to put a drive in the end zone. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one goes out on the field and says, all right, let's just settle for three, except in certain situations, trying to ice a game, that sort of deal. Most of the time, it's end zone, and that's what you're thinking. And I believe that's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one. Yeah, no quarterback ever goes out there saying, hey, let's get three, right? <laughs> <laughs> Not one that I've ever met. To the sideline, wow, what a catch. Doesn't get a lot out of it, but he is able to keep the feet in bounds. They should have got more out of that, though. He was wide open. I love how emphatic you are with that call because that's exactly what I was thinking. Wide open in the flat. Give him a ball that he can use to get up field with, not just catch and go over the sideline. They cost themselves some yardage there. Manning the throw on second down. And too much juice. It'll be out of bounds, incomplete. They were trying to get it there to Sterling Shepard, and it'll bring up third down. Before the game, they were running the route tree about as efficiently and effectively as we could have possibly imagined, but sometimes the passes just go awry. Yeah, let's face it. When you're running the route tree in pregame, you don't have defenders breathing down your neck. You don't have defensive backs making plays on the football. Hard to replicate the intensity of the game in pregame. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. 
You hear the calls for a penalty, but I just don't think so. I think in this situation, the defender was making sure his guy couldn't hold on to the football. So I don't see anything to warrant to the flag. No, I'm with you. There was contact, but I'm happy they kept that flag in the back pocket. Here's Riley Dixon now as he'll punt it away for the second time. Sproles, the return. Six-yard return after a punt of 48. And the Eagles will have it taking over first and 10. Philadelphia getting sent to take the field. And they had three points last time, but they didn't want three points because they were well within range of scoring a touchdown. We'll see if they can do better now. I'm with you on that one. Let's just go ahead and be frank about the whole thing. The only one happy about the three-point. The kicker. Exactly. <laughs> he put it through the post. That's going to help him at contract time. But that offense, they're thinking, let's get in the end zone this time. I don't know if that helped him at contract time. You, you could have kicked that one through. I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> Super tall. <laughs> Meanwhile, they take a shot to start the drive, but this is going to wind up incomplete. And that's one he's got to be happy to have back. There wasn't a hole open in the zone. You'd have to think on early downs like that first down there, need to be a little bit more careful. Yeah, fortunately for him, got a couple more downs to play with. So after the incompletion, second and 10 from the 22. Now it's the all-purpose back. This is Darren Sproles. And they're able to get this one across the 35. And a nice carry there of 15 yards. Pardon, if you want more carries, I think we saw how you get them. Showed that he's got the fresh legs, and he picked up the first down on that run. Don't just ask for them. Show them that you're supposed to get the football. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. On first down, Wentz to the sideline, and wow, what a catch there. He doesn't get a lot, but he was able to get the feet down complete. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. Let's make this one simple. What a catch, especially the finishing part of getting his feet in bounds, toe tapping, and of course, foot dragging. A little tapestry, if you will. Oh, I like it. On play action, Wentz throwing middle, but it's incomplete. Nelson Aguilar, the intended receiver, and that takes us from second to third down. All right, that one felt incomplete there, but the best quarterbacks, they'll miss up 40% of their throws somewhere in that neighborhood, similar to a great hitter in baseball who's going to fail seven out of ten times and still have a great year. In this case, you want perfection, but way better that it hits the ground instead of going to an opposite color jersey. Now flags will come in. I think this one's going to be on the defense for jumping. They'll step off the five yards. Yeah, partner, you know. Defensive end, he wants to get into the offensive backfield. He wants that get off to be as fast as possible. A little too quick on that one. So forget the three and out. The penalty makes this first and ten. This is a Jay. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45 yard line. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Partner, you mind if I take off this headset and put on a coaching headset? You want to get this running game going? I want to get this running game going. I'm going down there and saying, gentlemen, we have got to run the football. We've got to get it going right now. Yeah, to this point in the second quarter, it has been a struggle. He didn't seem in a rush. I guess they just didn't know where the play clock was. I think you're right about that because there was no hurried movements there, right? No up-tempo at all. Clock just ran out. I think he was as surprised as maybe his bench was. Hang in there now. Hang in there now. Wins to throw on second down. And a hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. Those passes out that far wide always make you hold your breath a little bit. Felt like it was in the air for a while. What it does is it allows a defender to gain some ground, come from a long distance, 
and have a chance to affect the pass. The Eagles on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This is third and 16. From the gun, it's Wins. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. They'll get 11, but it'll still lead to a fourth down. Ah, that's tough to play zone defense when they can just curl up right there in front of you. Yeah, absolutely. Well, hey, we, we talk about finding the soft spot defensively. How do you make sure they don't find the soft spot like they did there? Tough to do because what they normally will do is run routes that'll pull you out of that spot that they want to get into. That's what we call not taking the cheese, right? Don't go for the mousetrap. But it's hard to do because when you see a guy cutting that in that direction, you tend to go towards him. Manning and the Giants come up now first and 10 at their own 18. They'll start out on the ground, and Saquon Barkley, and he stopped immediately there. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. And he got off the end there very quickly to make that play. Yeah, it was almost like the bullet train, wasn't it? I mean, just zoom, quick, 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 and what a terrific play, holding them to no gain. The rush defense stout on first down. Here's second and 10 from the 20. On second down, here's Manning. His throw incomplete. Ronald Darby that time, the one who got a hand in and knocked it free. When I watched that play, I thought about what my coaches had told me in the past, the biggest teaching point. Get your head around. Locate the football so you can make a play on it while it's in the air. That's exactly what he did there. That was nice. The Giants on third down. They've hit four of seven. This is third and ten. Working from the gun, Manning. And that's complete to Lewis. And he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. First catch for him. It's good for a dozen and a first down. Manning now 10 of 16 throwing the football. It's first and 10. Now Saquon Barkley. And he'll slip his way up across the 30 to the 32. Nigel Bradham brings him down. What's the old expression? Three yards in a cloud of dust? In this case, it's dust-covered pellets. It's no longer that old grass that we used to play on right and chew it up. Now we've got that artificial surface. You see the pellets go up. Still a nice play by the defense. On play action, it's Manning. Throw left side complete. That's Lewis. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A good pick up there, 22. And with that completion, he's now north of 200 yards here in the first half. Boy, a tough start for the secondary defensively. It is, and it's got to put a dent in their confidence. And, you know, you always want to keep that up and feel like you can always bounce back after plays. But with the kind of numbers he's putting up here, it's starting to wear on them a little bit, I think. So they're looking at each other and trying to figure out what defense will work and how can they play better without getting beat deep for big passes. They'll wind up losing three yards here, and it'll bring up a second and 13. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he's going to be stopped up at about the 47-yard line. It's a gain of a yard, and it takes us to the two-minute warning. Yeah, baby! Yeah! Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. From the gun, Manning. He dumps it off to Barkley, and he'll get it down here to the 43. It's a gain of five, and that'll bring up fourth down. 
so much about this game is just understanding situations and then having to execute, isn't it? Guard the first down sticks. Don't let them get there. And they rallied and made the tackle. Here's Riley Dixon now as he's on to punt for New York. And out and out come the Eagles. And our game's hit a little bit of a lull here, a little bit of a snag. Punts on back-to-back -back drives. And old-school coaches don't necessarily mind that. Didn't turn it over, right? Didn't create a big play for the other team. Right now, what you're looking for is can you gain an advantage in field position? And that's what both teams are seeking right now. Yeah, they'll be seeking to gain that advantage here on this drive. Throwing now is wins. And he can't get away from the pressure the Giants get there. B.J. Goodson leading the surge there. He drops him for a loss of six. And before this second down play, we'll get a whistle, a signal, and a timeout. As he'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Sacks, a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And now maybe they want some extra time to talk about this third and long play as we'll get a timeout. As the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Eagles on third down. Just one for five to this point. This is third and ten. Working from the gun. Wentz. And down he goes. They bring down Wentz on the sack. And now the Giants will stop play as they take a timeout defensively. As they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. The Eagles send out their punter now as he's on to punt for the fourth time tonight. And he'll take it just outside the 40. 12 yards on the return that time. And the Giants will begin this drive in good shape, first and 10. And now out come the Giants. They were forced to punt last time, and I doubt sincerely that they'll have to punt here because they're gifted with terrific field position. I don't even want to think about the idea that they would end up punting starting with this type of field position. Neither do they. Great starting spot, great opportunity to run your full playbook. If they want to take a shot here, they can go ahead and do it. Manning now on first down to Shepard complete over the middle. And now we won't see a play on first down. We're going to get a timeout instead as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. On first down, Manning. The attempt on the dive, and he has it. What a catch. It's a gain of 13 for number 13, and it gives him a first down. 
And that's how you throw for a whole heap of yards in a game. You get efforts like that from your receivers. How about him laying out for that catch? Yeah, excellent. Makes a quarterback look a whole lot better. Back-to-back -back good plays. Have them on the move on first down. Manning now on first down. And that will be incomplete. Four ticks left here on the clock. The pro bowler Odell Beckham, the intended receiver. That'll bring up second down. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. He connected on his first, this from 41. And the kick by Rosas is good. So we've reached halftime here at MetLife Stadium with the Giants out in front as we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach! Fielded about a yard deep. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Out come the Eagles now as they'll go on offense first here in the third quarter. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. Well, you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times the punter goes to the sideline and puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now <laughs> from all the work he's getting. They'll start out on the ground with a giant. He takes this for three to the 29. You know, despite the score line, I think they've got to like where they are here. They're on the road in just one big play away from getting right back in this game. I'm going to follow right along with you because the spot they're in now is a credit to their defense. They've kept them in it by making the plays that they've made, and that just means you're one big score away from being right back there. Now the question is, can this offense step up and make that play? Because that's been an issue for them in this game. And they take him down, losing yardage back at the 27. So he loses three yards there. Now third down. But these guys got to chop into that deficit. They got to do a much better job in the run game. Caught behind the line of scrimmage. No yardage to be found. Big play coming up. Here's third and 10. I would expect to see some pressure here. And once again, they go with Sproles. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. It's a gain of five on the play, and it'll bring up a fourth down. And there's a run to be happy with. Good, solid yardage. He'll take that any time you hand the ball to a back. The Eagles send out their punter now, as he'll come on for his fifth kick of the night. This is taken at the 18. Well, he wasn't too far from breaking that. Officially, give him 15. And possession will switch. Hands first and 10. Here's the Giants offense now getting set to start the third quarter. They have the lead here. Well, we talk a lot about pregame speeches. What are halftime speeches like? For the most part, not nearly as emotional. They're a lot more clinical. Every now and then, though, they'll get after you if they think they need to light a fire. But in this case, let's go into the virtual locker room because here's what I think happened. They got in there and they said, listen, let's take control right away. Yeah, Defense, we got, the yeah. we, got the we, got the we got the lead. Defense, don't give up any points. Turn the ball back over to the offense and let them go down and score and give us more of a cushion in the game. Check so far. Defense shut them down. Let's see if the offense gets done. From the 34, they'll come to the line on second and 10. They fake the handoff. Now Manning. They'll let it go. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Rodney McLeod. And they have possession, and they have it at the 38-yard line. Oh, timing is everything on a route like this. He tried to drive that football into a tight spot. And if you're a little early or a little late, chances are there's going to be someone there. And sure enough, this one's going the other way. Looking for more there on first down, but this throw downfield incomplete. Sure, that pass was incomplete as they made an attempt to get a big one downfield. 
But that's okay because the second part of that is if you don't get the completion, at least you've told the defense you're trying to stretch them out a little bit, and they may have to change accordingly. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Here we go, here we go. They run with a Johnny. And it's been like this all night long. Nowhere to run as they stop him behind the line. This will be a two-yard loss on the play. And that's going to lead to a third and 12. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. From the gun on third down, wins. He's got his man. That's Wallace. That one good for 16, and the drive will continue. And the key number on that play, three. Third play of the drive, third down, spectacular catch, turns into a first down. First down saves him from a three and out. Wentz now 9 of 15 throwing the ball, 60% at its first and 10. He didn't even try to signal for a timeout, so they must have not been aware of the numbers. I think he lost track of the time left in the play clock and probably was trying to read the defense and trying to figure out which play to run and just lost track, and it cost him. Now they need 15 yards on this series after the delay of game, first and 15. Now it's Ajayi. Give him a couple on the run there. It'll be second and 13. Tough first half for him, unable to put up the numbers he's used to producing. But with a guy like him, you and I both know it just takes a couple of explosive touches for him to make an impact on this game and on the stat sheet as well. On second down, here's Wentz. Throw right side taken in by Wallace. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. The first down for the Eagles wins fighting the former Raven Wallace. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and 10. Now a play fake here on first down. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Play action supposed to be used to slow down pressure, slow down blitzes. In this case, though, if it takes a little too long to develop, you have people right in your face. And lucky just to get rid of the ball with the arm going forward. Could have been a fumble. Line of scrimmage again the 37 as they line up second and 10. Wentz will try again on second down. Hurts over the middle. And he's going to get this inside the 30. An eagle first down, Wentz to Ertz. The completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. Wentz now five straight completions here in this second half, first and 10. Here's a Jive. Down right around the 25. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Well, they still have time to get him established, but in my estimation, they've got to pick up the urgency here. They've got to get quickly in and out of the huddle and run off a bunch more plays. Shotgun now for Wentz. He's got his man on the crossing route. The reception good for seven. It's third down. So they're on that play. Offensively, they were in the crossing route. Defense was in zone coverage. So as a former DB, how tough is it to defend there? It's really difficult because your natural inclination is to chase the receiver and maybe leave your zone. So you have to have discipline in order to Talk to your other coverage guys and let them know that that receiver's crossing from your zone to the next zone. He's coming your way. Make sure you have him. And then when the ball is actually thrown, secure the tackle. When they're moving on crossing routes, if you miss a tackle, it usually results in a big play. Three yards there, good enough to keep the drive moving. 
Now, they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep feeding the horse, and I believe he'll eventually reward them, especially as we get deeper in the game. They'll run the option right here on first down. And holding it may be the wrong decision as he stopped to the backfield. It's a loss of a yard there and now second down. And yet again, this run game just continues to be completely shut off. Completely stymied. I mean, they're trying to get some consistency, trying to find places to roam. They just haven't been there throughout this game. To throw his wins. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. He was trying to get it to Zach Ertz that time. And it's third down. We always talk about receivers. If the ball hits your hand, you're supposed to haul it in. But it is hard to adjust to a pass going a little bit behind you. That one was. All the momentum going forward. Couldn't contort his body back to grab it. The Eagles on third down. They've converted a third of their opportunities. Three for nine. This is third and 11. Now flags come in here. Looked like one of the Eagles might have moved. So the false start certainly doesn't help matters as they'll try again now, third and long. Wentz now to throw. That is caught right at the 10-yard line. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. It'll be a gain of 12, but it will also lead to fourth down. They really love to get him into one-on-one -on -one opportunities, and this is one way. Work him out of the slot and create a mismatch. Who's going to cover him? Corner? Safety? Linebacker? He's got a way to beat all of those positions. And the kick by Elliott is good. And they will cut the lead back down to a touchdown now at 13 to six. So they get the field goal, but that was a 14 play drive to get three. It sounds like you're going negative on me. I was, partner. I was. It sounds like, sounds like you're thinking the three is just not that good. And people say that we're negative sometimes, <laughs> so. <laughs> well, here's the deal. <laughs> Getting the three is good. Obviously, you would think on a 14-play drive, you're going to get six out of it. But that type of a drive can pay dividends later on because you might wear the defense down. After the field goal, here's Elliott to kick it away. Raymond now on the return. And he'll make it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. And New York set to take the field. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive or no? You just throw that out the window. I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack him here. Throw left side, complete to Ingram. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Seeing that play and understanding just how tough it is to cover tight ends, especially the ones running around the NFL nowadays, makes me glad I didn't make it in that league. I would have had a really difficult time. But now you get to sit up here with me. Yeah, and that's fun, isn't it? And <laughs> what a really nice game right there on first down for them. Brings up a nice second down for them. Now Manning. Pressure comes and down he goes. The Eagles get there for the sack. Brandon Graham. He's the one that got to him. He takes him down for a loss of nine. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. Third and long for the Giants and Eli following the sack. From the gun, it's Manning. It's caught, Shepard. And they got it well across midfield, down to the 40 before it's all said and done. They give him a gain of 38. There will always be a place for methodically marching the ball downfield. But when you can pick it up in big chunks and strike like that, have explosive plays, that's often the difference in winning and losing. Those types of plays that can knock a defense off balance, that'll drive a team towards a victory. 
A first down carry for Barkley. And a short gain there down to the 37-yard line. The pro bowler Fletcher Cox there to get him down. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. Four down, four down, check. Four. That's it. Yep. They'll run it again with Barkley. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. That'll set him back with a loss of three on the play. And that's going to lead to a third and 11. Shotgun now for Manning. And able to catch it on the left sideline, but they're going to rule him out of bounds. So it'll be incomplete, certainly one they'd like to have back as it brings up fourth down. Sometimes the coverage is so good, no matter what you're doing on offense, you just can't shake anyone free. They try their best to find someone open, but they took away every passing alley, every angle, and shut the play down. Dixon, the punter, is on as he sends it away. Now Philadelphia ready to get going on offense again. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. Here's a handoff to Sproles to start the drive. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down, a very solid gain on that play. Come on now, come on now, let's go. And they'll go ground game here with a tailback. And he has met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. No gain on the play there, so they're left with a third down and six. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. To throw, it's Wentz. And incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. We saw this a lot in the first half, and it continues. These receivers just not able to get much separation. So that means they have to win the 50-50 balls. They've got to go up with the defender and find a way to start coming down with them. And this time, contact and another incomplete pass. And the Giants send out their punter now. Standing about a yard deep. Now a hit and a loose football. And they will set up shop in enemy territory at the 42-yard line. Come on, Come on, Let's go. on first down, Wentz. Able to get away. And incomplete as he was knocked as he threw it. And it took the ball off course. We've seen this quite a few times in this game. Offensive line unable to keep leverage, unable to keep people away, facing a lot of pressure. Fortunate, fortunate just to get rid of it. One of the reasons they're down is that inability, though, to stop the pressure. We saw another example of it there. Ball on the 42 as they come up second and 10. Back to the air on second down. Wentz. Wide open receiver complete. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. 23 yards on the play. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. Wentz now on first down. Oh, no, he lost the football. And who's got it? The Giants. Manning and the Giants come up now first and 10 at the 34. Hey. 
They begin with a run by Barkley. And this has been a recurring theme tonight for sure. Nowhere to run. Back to the line of scrimmage, that's all. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. Well, Brandon, pace comes into play now because they've got the advantage. They've got the football, but they've got to be very careful about what speed they're going to play. You know, my, my music teacher back in New Paltz, Mrs. Bythema Bagley, used to say, don't go prestissimo when you really want to go largo. And what she meant by that is don't go too fast when you really want to go at a nice, slow, deliberate pace. I am speechless. I am without speech. Manning able to find OBJ there for a Giants first down. Another nice pick up through the air, and I think a lot of people might expect them to run the ball in this situation, Brandon, but with this lead, they're electing to throw the football. Swing, slant, quick outs, things that they consider safe. Manning now six for six since coming back out of the locker room. It's first and ten. Barkley. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. You can see this quite a bit on running plays with the guys out wide. A lot of times, though, it doesn't get caught. You're exactly right, because it's away from the play usually, so a lot of it goes undetected. But I know this will surprise you. I coach some receivers in the offseason. We work a lot on hand placement and blocking downfield. Might want to take that course. the penalty here's Stewart and he'll take this one up close to about the 45 give him a couple on the run there it'll be second and 13 offensively with the lead you want to run the ball keep the clock going but you also want to still kind of be in attack mode too right so how do you do that and not come back on your heels yeah, think about all the practices we've watched where they have that tempo period to go over things just like this where they describe the scenario Tell you what they're looking for and make sure that they're still attacking, yet at the same time not going so fast as to leave too much time on the clock. And he'll get it out to midfield. Looks like, yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion. They would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion, but I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication, and as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. I think he's taking an awful chance with the football right there. You've got a lead, you've got to protect it, and he's taking chances, putting it out there in a little bit of jeopardy. Especially in a spot like this, fourth quarter, as you said, trying to cling to that advantage. Yeah, that one probably should have been picked, huh? And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. Philadelphia getting set to take the field. And they'll be looking to atone for last time's mistake of fumbling inside the red zone. Certainly they don't want to do that again. And so much emphasis placed on red zone offense. I mean, you have periods devoted in practice just for that because everyone knows how vital it is to put points on the board when you've entered that part of the field. And to come away with nothing, that's difficult for a team to handle. And difficult, and now we'll see if they can make it less difficult on themselves on this drive. Trying to lay one up deep. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. From the gun, it's Wins. Completes it to Aguilar. And he'll get it up to the 12-yard line here. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays harder to move it. Now Wentz on third down. Goes underneath for Sproles. And they'll bring him down here right around the 17-yard line. Call it a gain of five, and it'll be fourth down. So many times you hear today's NFL described as a space game. Get your best players into space with the football in their hands, 
That's why sometimes you swing it out to your runner, get him out in the flat, and let him have a chance to make people miss an open field. Well, that'll be taken just outside the 40. Give him 11 yards that time on the return. And this offense will take over right at the midfield stripe with a first and 10. And New York set to take the field. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now, with the game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. Throwing his man toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. Evan Ingram was the intended target, and it's second down. Well, they're slinging it, and then there's one you got to put a timer on, huh? I mean, that one came in hot. That came in hot, but overthrown out of his reach and incomplete. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Throwing again. Manning. Open man right side is Ingram. And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause. They'll need to get this to the 38. That's where the first down marker is here on third. Working from the gun, Manning. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. Didn't have a receiver open downfield, and as it turned out, couldn't even find his outlet, man, because of the coverage. It was way too tight. Unable to find anyone open. Here's Riley Dixon now, as he'll come on to kick for a sixth time tonight. And that is much too long. That's into the end zone for a touchback. The Eagles coming out as they get ready. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency. Move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. Wentz. Open man left side is Wallace complete. Takes this up just short of the 30, but he was able to avoid that earlier tackle. Nice move. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. I always laugh when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? And I'm like, any of them, especially if it's a good receiver. That makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, something short, shallow, going through defenders, using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open, that makes things tougher, guys trying to get to the football. Burt has it left side. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. And Eagle first down there wins to Ertz and the names that end in TZ. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. On first and 10, here's Wentz. And his throw is incomplete. Strong safety Landon Collins, the one who got a hand in there, knocked it away. It's always a battle. Who's going to win on first down, the offense or the defense? Let's face it, if you've got the ball, four yards or more on first down is what you're aiming for. They tried to throw for it there. Nice effort to knock that one away and bring up second down. Second and 10 from the 33-yard line. Wentz again here on second and 10. And this is Ertz with it, right side. Seven catches for him now in this last one, a first down. His position, and he's listed as a tight end, but he certainly doesn't run like one, and that's what we're seeing more and more coming into the league, those guys who can run, make plays after the catch, and gain that additional yardage. And using that speed there to turn it into a pretty nice little game. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and 10. From midfield, here's Wentz. And his guys are going to take over at their own 48-yard line. Well, that's a drive killer right there. Not a really confident throw either. This one was kind of up for grabs, and it's going to come down the hands of the wrong team. 
So after the INT, it's Manning. Caught left side, it's Beckham. Oh, an absolutely filthy juke. He's got some space now. And he will take it on in for a giant touchdown. Beckham, his second touchdown of the night, and the Giants add on to their lead. In order to lead in a game, you're going to get plenty of contributors, but that's his second touchdown catch of this game. He's one of the key guys in this one. And you better believe he'll be looking for the hat trick here as this one continues to go. PAT up and good by Rosas, and the lead now up to 14. Rosas now to kick this one away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And all that work, but he stopped where he ultimately would have been, and he's simply taken a knee, and that's the 25-yard line. Philadelphia getting sent to take the field. And there are parts of their last drive they'd like to emulate. And of course, they'd like to forget the ending, the interception. But they did put together, Charles, a nice sustained drive to get him down the field. Yeah, and unfortunately for them, the only thing that matters is part two, right? Because once they threw the interception and finished off the drive, that does them no good to go back and say, well, you know, we had a good one going. Finish things off. That's the only way you can get it done. Caught by the tight end, Ertz. And they'll bring him down at the 27-yard line. Give him a couple on the catch. It's second and eight. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give him that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle him after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. On second down, here's Wentz. Screen pass to Scrolls. And they take him down, losing yardage back at the 27. And they'll lose a yard that time, and that's going to lead to a third down. I thought that wasn't a bad time to call the screen. I thought late game, down on the scoreboard, had to figure they were expecting a pass downfield. Yeah, so the edge rushers, they're coming. That could have hit big. You're right. Good recognition defensively to snuff that one out. From the gun on third down, wins. And he'll just toss it away. So he throws it away, and that brings up fourth down. What's the old adage? Be quick, but don't hurry. Well, that went right out the window there. He was hurried, harassed. <laughs> that ball had to be gotten rid of. Otherwise, he was going to get sacked. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter. Let's see how this plays out. Now Wentz, got to have this one. He's going to let this one go deep. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. Strong safety Landon Collins, the one who got a hand in there, knocked it away. So they really needed points here in a two-score game. Could not come away with anything there on fourth. And while we know they're a little bit discouraged here, they can't check out of this game. You and I have called a good number of games over the course of our career where we've seen these types of situations. Teams get the ball back, and that miracle does occur. So they can't let that dream go just yet. They have to get stout on defense here. Yeah, right now, really hoping for a turnover. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Now that's staying ahead of the chains. Really good pickup on first down, hitting the tight end there. Now it brings up a second and manageable. Just found a hole in that zone. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Operating from the gun, Manning. And incomplete there, a nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. That's very well timed there defensively because it's not a bad throw, but the collision came at the exact time he was reaching to bring in the football. Really, really well done. Decent offense, just better defense. I think you're right. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. They'll try to run for it with Barkley. And he'll wind up losing yardage here back at the 21-yard line. That'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. 
He continues to struggle to find a crease to break off a big one and might need to just put that aside and just try and ram his way forward and get what he can. So now the field goal unit trots out there for the third time tonight. This to make it a three-score game late. And Rosas puts this one through. And that'll push the lead up to 17. So with that, you figure, yeah, this game's pretty much out of reach at this point. Yeah, it's going to take a heck of a comeback to come from three scores down. But don't change that channel. Don't go away. Miracles can happen. And you want to be here in case it does. You're a company man. Now, aren't I, though? After the field goal, here's Rosas to kick it away. That's fielded in the end zone. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. The Eagles offense now, they head back on the field. And on that last drive, went for it on fourth, turned it over. But good job by their defense, though. They held them to three. But this offense, they've got to be a little bit better, a little bit more careful here. And sometimes when you see these calls on fourth down, when they decide to go for it, it's not necessarily the coach saying, I believe in my offense. Sometimes the coach saying, I believe in my defense. I can afford to go for it here, because if we don't. And now a fumble. The ball's out. But I believe it was covered by an eagle. It was. And Philadelphia is going to hold on to the football. And the defense not able to get it. From a defensive perspective, what's that moment like when you realize the ball is loose? It is a moment where all concentration goes right to the football. This is something you've talked about in all your preparation for the game. And you've probably talked about since training camp. Knock the ball free, take it away from the other team, and now you have that chance. <laughs> it's a little bit of deflation when they end up recovering it. They knocked it free, but couldn't take it away. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Another wayward pass. You know, things started out poorly in this game, and to be frank, they just really haven't gotten much better. And all that does is embolden a second day. They feel good about what's going on, and they just play better and better. Line of scrimmage, again the 37, as they line up second and 10. Wentz will try again on second down. And he comes back with one complete. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. Hard to believe his first catch of the game defensively. They bottled him up. That's why they're well on their way to victory. Put your best cover guy on him and then change the coverages behind him throughout the game. Brackets, double, zone, man, you name it. Make sure he gets a lot of angles. They had the catch on second down, but it didn't help at all. And now they're looking at third down here. Wins to throw again. And Lord has it. And he will have the first down as he gets this to the 47. It'll go as a gain of six that time, and it moves the chains as well. Now a play fake here on first down. Throw right side taken in by Wallace. 17 yards on the pickup there, and the drive will continue. Clock management, definitely critical here if they want to get back in this game. Absolutely agreed. They have to up the tempo in this case, down a couple of scores, want to make sure they have a chance to win this ball game. So first and 10 now from the 30. Wentz now on first down. Burks over the middle. And they'll be inside the 25 now at the 24. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Now you've got to hustle your guys to the line and get them set. Again, it's Wentz. Oh, there's that man again. It's complete. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. Give them 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward. To throw his wins. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. We have not seen a whole lot of wide open receivers. Everything seemingly has been contested. And that's another nice job there to force an incompletion. They've been very cohesive, knowing each other's moves all game long. 
and they've been on the spot just about every time. And they've held them in check on the scoreboard. Back to the air on second down. Wins. William Gay, the one who was there defensively. This drive, which was going so smoothly, all of a sudden it's a little bit of a roadblock here with two straight incompletions. Yeah, apparently this defense has had enough. Apparently they're saying no more. We're speaking to stand right here, right now. But it is third and ten. They've got to get after him one more time. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. Now, once again, that's going to be caught at the 10 yard line. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. They'll get 10 there, but it leaves them just short for fourth down. And now, whistles and a flag. And I think we got to jump here. Hoping for a fourth down stop. Instead, they flinch and move the chains. Flinch, jump, not watching the ball, all the sins that you're not supposed to commit. They come into play there. So it's still first and goal, but now they get to try from a bit closer. Now flags come in here. Look like one of the Eagles might have moved. So from the two, now they move back to the seven-yard line. First and goal. Again, they'll throw with Wentz. And that's going to be caught for an Eagles touchdown. As his guys are in for six. And the Eagles make some inroads here on that deficit. I'm not sure win-win is the proper term here, but it certainly felt like it. They got the touchdown they needed, but if I'm on the defensive side of the ball, okay, you got the touchdown, but it sure took you a long time. Yeah, because offensively there, you're probably hoping for a one to five play drive. That one ate up a little more time than they were hoping. You're exactly right, and if you have that one to five play drive, you actually build up momentum and even more hope. When they had to slog their way downfield, they got the touchdown, but it's almost like, ah. Yeah. Yeah, you know, it doesn't you got, feel right. Exactly. <laughs> So two scores down, time definitely not an ally, but here comes the onside kick. And this will be recovered by the Giants, and that ought to just about do it. They knew they needed a miracle. They had to have that onside kick. They didn't get it. Well, as we knew, even before they put the, the toe to the leather on that one, their chances of getting that done, slim and none. And I do believe we saw Slim just leave the door, didn't we? We did indeed. I think we're down to none. This is Barkley. And this has been a recurring theme tonight for sure. Nowhere to run. Back to the line of scrimmage, that's all. Here's the giant offense now as they get ready to take over here. And last time, able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just, I, I like the way you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. Another running situation on the doorstep as they come up second and ten. Again, it's Barkley. And he's going to be brought down at about the 33-yard line. And the Eagles are going to go ahead and take another timeout. As the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play. third down Barkley 
And now we're going to get a timeout here called by the defense. As the clock will stop with 34 seconds to go in the game. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. On the right hash, officially this will be a 51-yard attempt. And the kick is good. He needed a little help there from the crossbar, but the carom goes his way. Charles, did I just hear that right? They declined the personal foul. Three yards, they just declined them. And I have to think that the official is thinking to himself, did I just hear that correctly, that you declined that one? All I can think of is that someone on the field got confused. Must because have. They had to, because you're going to take the yards on that penalty each and every time. After the field goal, here's Rosas to kick it away. This will be taken in at the one. <laughs> And he'll take this across the 25, a couple extra yards, up to the 27-yard line. Philadelphia getting sent to take the field. They have a little bit of time left here, but this one not going to go their way. And this is where, in this situation for me, you just go ahead and run out the clock, shake hands, congratulations, and move on. Because now, <laughs> you're not going to make up for what's happened during the game in this last sequence. We'll see what they do here in this last sequence. <laughs> Throwing on first is Wentz. He's going to let it fly. And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in with our referee. So they saw the contact before the ball arrived. Penalty flag for pass interference. And trying to avoid pass interference is so difficult. You're trying to slow down these skilled receivers. And somehow, some way, they make plays on the football. And sometimes you're there too soon. Wentz now on first down. And this is caught. So it's a late touchdown, but maybe too late. Still a little time left on the clock, however. Coming from where they were, they knew this was going to be tough, but they got the touchdown. Now they need the miracle, the onside kick and a little extra. Yeah, and you have to get the onside kick and not have the ball bounce around a lot and eat up time. You want to be able to grab it, possess it, and get your offense out there for what you just termed a miracle, a miracle. last chance. Elliott now to add the extra point. Elliott good on the extra point. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. So looking at this situation, you should have time for the onside kick and then at least one play. And this is going to be recovered by the hand team. And that should just about put a capper on this one. They had to go for it with no timeouts remaining, though, now. This one's as good as over. They gave it an effort. They tried their best, did everything they could to try and get the ball on the onside kick. You're exactly right. They had to try it. It was their only option. And now this game is done. Just take it, kneel, and call it a day. Manning will take a knee, and that should be the final act in this one.
And Charles, I think when the schedule comes out, all teams, no matter where they're predicted to finish, talk about protecting your home turf. They were able to do that here in this one. Similar to a tennis match, right? Not letting them break your serve. That way you hold on to it. They got it done, and they feel very good about that victory. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. The Giants are winners as we say so long from MetLife Stadium.